the battle in a woman's mind. Uh, especially me, like if I'm nervous about a date, I usually haven't like e eaten enough that day because I'm scared we're gonna have sex and I don't want to fart during it. So I've like just been like, so I'm starving at this point. I'm just like, I'm just gonna go home. But sometimes they like, they get frustrated and they're like, maybe she doesn't know I'm hard. I think that sometimes you guys are like, maybe she doesn't know. So they'll take your hand and kind of Helen Keller you like, hey, I'm hard. And you're like, oh, thank you, Papa. Like I just, I don't know why Papa, that doesn't really fit either scenario. And, but we had fun. But then you touch it, and I, I do like a hot stove now. I'm like, I didn't touch it. It's like, I don't have to do anything. Because if you don't touch, you can just kind of go, good night, and like float away on a toadstool, and like go home and eat in bed. And then, but then if you touch it, you have to, you either have to do something to it, or you have to tell him that you don't want to do anything with it at this point, right? And that can be like, you're just like, I just don't like you enough now, or I'm not comfortable. It's like a hard conversation to kind of have. And sometimes, I'm better at sucking dick than I am at sharing my true feelings. <laughs> so I blow a guy to avoid telling him the truth. I've done it so many times. <laughs> but I just, for me to make you come now, I just like, ugh. If I'm not having sex, it used to be my go-to. Now I'm like, I have to blow you. And I'm still not confident in my blowjobs. And I was, I'm trying to get better. But recently I gave one and 90 seconds in, the same thing happened that always happens. The guy just kind of held my head steady and decided to fuck it himself, you know? <laughs> kind of took over and, and treated my head like a birdhouse. That's how I got through it, is pretending I'm a birdhouse. <laughs> I just, I have no rhythm. I have no natural rhythm. And so I, I actually was like, thank you, take the wheel. I don't know what you want. <laughs> I just don't have a good sense of rhythm. I might be able to show you a good time if you have like a metronome on your nightstand, but it's just not. <laughs> Most girls do not like when you grab their head and just hold it and fuck it. But I truly appreciate the gesture. And cause then I can focus on what I'm actually good at, which is gonna be surviving this blowjob because my breathing is now up to you, good sir. <laughs> cause you don't seem to understand that I can't breathe when your dick is in my head. So I hope you let me get a couple gasps in here and there. I always feel like I'm lost at sea when I'm sucking dick and I'm just like emerging like Coast Guard and just getting sucked back under. I gotta time them perfectly. And I'm good at breathing during blowjobs because I didn't know guys didn't know we couldn't breathe. But we can't breathe when your dick is in our head. We can't breathe when your dick is in our head. I have to get it through to you. I know you think we can because of our nose. You're like, your nostrils don't have dicks in them. But clearly, it's an open passage. It's the only way to shut off a girl's breathing. Let me tell you, it's from within. I don't know what's happening, but when the dick is in your head, you can't breathe through your nose, you can't. It's like an inside job. You can't, I can't explain, but it's all getting clogged. It doesn't take a big dick. It doesn't take deep throat. It's just all, um, and it's rarely deep throat, by the way. I just want to just briefly tell you that when you think, I don't know, sometimes you just go, take it, you know, you jam it. And it's not like drain snaking its way gently down our esophagus, like boop, 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 like a boomerang of a lady going down a water slide. Like, oh, so fun. Deep, deep, easy, easy does it. No, it's jamming into the back. It's crumbling into our soft palate. I'm like, does he know this is a cul-de-sac? Like, there's no way through. Drive like your kids live here. Like, take it slow, dude. Punching and the ramming the back of your head hurts. It feels like you're trying to punch through like a game on The Price is Right. It's so aggressive and it hurts. It really does hurt. And I don't know if you guys can't tell because you can't see, but start to look. Um, you'll be able to tell just by just, um, it's a little thing we do, like the tears streaming down our face. Thick tears, just like an elephant who lost a friend. Like those just kind of like. That could be, a, that could be an indication. I, I couldn't, uh, I guess I wouldn't have known that, that you know, you can't breathe if a dick's in your head had I not been on the receiving end. I don't know, maybe I wouldn't have, but I'm here to tell you we can't. And I found out guys didn't know that we couldn't breathe from watching a porn, not even from my own experience. I saw this guy and he was using this girl's head as a flashlight pretty aggressively. 
and he did the thing where he was like, take it all. And he, because um, he was mad at his mom, clearly. It was something to do with her. She didn't pick him up from school a couple times when she said she was going to make an effort to do so. And she was late. It was embarrassing. And so he's taking it on Savannah. And she had nothing to do with it. I mean, it was in the 80s, well before she even was born. And so, so he's, take it, bitch. And he's holding her there for a while. And I was holding my breath with her because I was like, I got you, girl. I know you can't breathe. Solidarity, neighborhood watch. Like, I am on it. So I'm watching. And it's about a minute in. I'm like, this girl's a pro. This is incredible. She must deep sea dive or some shit like that. This is awesome. And, um, and then I saw him see her struggle. And he goes, oh, you think that's bad? What about now? And he plugged her nose to be like, take it to the next level. I'm like, this fucking idiot. worthless like what about now he should have been like what about now and added like a fun mardi gras mask flourish that would have been a more interesting challenge than this which you're already doing so i was like oh my god if this guy thinks she can't breathe now like i'm about to watch her die you know so i came really hard and i go back to it and i check in on her and i go she survived i'm happy to tell you she lived because she knew, and she's smart, and she did her safe word to get out of it, which they had worked out before, which is And it's so, it's the correct pronunciation. I don't know how to spell it, but it is, I think it's Yiddish, but it's, um, <laughs> that's like a hot sound now. Isn't that weird? Porn has made that like a sex sound. It used to, porn sounds used to be like, uh, uh, and now they're, <laughs> It's that pervasive in porn. It's wild. I guarantee you, there are at least 14 dudes in here with blood rushing to your dicks right now, just based on Pavlov's dick response of just like, is a girl getting choked by a dick somewhere? That's what's happening. And I know you feel bad about it. It feels weird to be turned on by that, but it's okay. You just watch so much porn and it's fine. It's like, it's not gonna be fine when a woman is actually choking at a restaurant where you're dining with your wife. And a woman's at the next table like, ah, ah, ah. your wife is like, you know, I'm like, give it to her. And you're like, I can't, I have a boner and I don't want to put it in her back as I save her life. So I'd rather she just like die. <laughs> so that'll be weird. But until then, it's just all these things. I'm willing to do all of this, by the way. So happy to do it. I, I'm not, I, I like when guys come. It's like, I, it makes me feel good when they come. I'm not, I never want to be a comedian who's up here like fucking men, you know, I would love to be up here fucking men. That's a different thing. And that's a, that's a show I aspire to 